I knew and loved the first two books as a teenager, and going back to them I remembered why. I mean, they're extremely funny, beautifully written. I wasn't actually uh, too familiar with the books before I auditioned, but then since getting the part, I've read the first three, which I think is sort of what we're taking a lot of the, this first series of stories from. Let us take him to the library for his treatment. We must preserve his dignity. When I first got the audition, I was aware of all creatures great and small, um, and I started reading the book. I read the first book, and I fell in love with the world that Alf White created and all the characters and just very much wanted to be part of it from then on, really. I think there's something about the space that he creates, the emotional as well as the physical space that he creates in the books, that makes you feel you're there. It's very authentic. The books have sold 60 million worldwide. Alf White had to do these little sessions in between his vet work because he was so busy with people coming to you know, get their books signed and to meet the man. And my uncle went along to one of those with his books, got them signed. So he's got the, he's got the full collection all signed by Alf White. So when I told them, and him in particular, you know, he was, yeah, yeah, very thrilled to say the least. I got through the first one and then took the second um, on holiday with me to Croatia just before this job and I was literally just sat by the pool like reading these books and just laughing, giggling out loud. You know, one chapter it'll switch from that to something that is actually quite like sort of poignant and, and, and sad and it's, it's just, it just switches back and forth so amazingly and, and the language that he uses is incredible. Must have seen it a thousand times. Never gets old. I'm a bit suspicious of the idea that young people don't like things that old people like. I think people like things for the same reasons on the whole, because they're funny and true and delightful. 